So you're thinking about moving to Sacramento, California, and you want to know the best communities. Well, in this video, I'm going to go through five of the top awesome communities in Sacramento, California. Guys, I've lived here for over 10 years. I'm one of the top realtors in the area. These spots, these communities, we get calls for almost on a daily basis. And if you're thinking to move to Sacramento, California, these are the spots you need to know. Let's get into it right now. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Let's get started. Okay, let's start off with East Sacramento. East Sacramento, honestly, we get a, got a call every single day for East Sacramento. People really love the spot. Located between 65th Street and the 80 Freeway, it's about 9,000 homes over there. You got the fabulous 40s, you got parks. Some of the stuff that I like specifically about the area is the fact that you have older homes. You know, I mean, you have homes built in the 20s. You have homes that are set back, so you have that kind of lawn, the curb appeal, you know what I mean? Like a lot of those, that's kind of missing from some of the track homes that are building here in Sacramento. I really love that area. You even have some houses that actually have basements. So some people that we've actually moved in from Chicago love the basement idea. And a lot of these houses in East Sacramento also have a basement. Really, really fun things to do. You can go for jogs, walking. Downtown is super close by. Downtown is like five minutes away. A lot of dining and everything too. In East Sacramento, a lot of the people that work at UC Davis Medical Center actually work, live in East Sacramento or in Land Park. And also you're talking about people who work at the state capitol. East Sacramento is fantastic. During the holiday season, the Fab 40s is all lit up that's going to be the fantastic light show that you're going to see in sacramento you drive through these houses ronald reagan even lived in the fabulous 40s that is pretty cool i would say east sacramento if you're looking for a three and two you could probably get away with 850 if you're looking for something like in the millions two millions three millions with some a little bit of like acreage pool all that kind of stuff that's where you're looking it can get a little spendy in east sacramento guys but if you like concerts in the park if you like that kind of like tree line street old school vibe if you have to be close to downtown guys east sacramento is a fantastic spot to live and we get calls for east sacramento like i said almost on a daily basis Okay, number two is Land Park. Located between Broadway and Sutterville, south of the 80, we're talking about 3,500 houses. It is a nice spot. It's one of the older communities in the Sacramento area. We're talking 1920s, 30s, 40s houses. Really, really nice. I love the area. We get a lot of doctors who like the area specifically because it's so close to UC Davis Medical Center. Land Park is really great. It's anchored by William and Land Park. It is a fantastic spot to go running. There's a golf course there, concerts in the park again. William Land Park is really, really Really cool it actually had the zoo and the zoo is actually leaving for elk grove shedding a tear but william land park is still pretty amazing land park is a fantastic spot we're talking pretty much the same spot uh, price point is East Sacramento. The Land Park is one of those spots that still, they do have some of the houses there have basements. It's a really great spot because it's close to everything. Probably about 10 minutes to downtown. Negatives of down, uh, Land Park, I would say, is number one is that they have those kind of like the garages that are laid set back. So if you have something like an Escalade or a big SUV, that could be a problem. Um, that's the only thing about Land Park that I'm not a really big fan of. Other than that, I think Land Park is awesome. And we always get clients that are kind of in between East Sacramento and Land Park. They keep going back and forth which one they like really really a fantastic spot and like i said guys if you guys are visiting the area i would say take a look at william land park just drive down these streets it's a fantastic spot to live and like i said it gives you just the right amount of space between downtown and where you want to live and if you're someone who's maybe looking to get a job at the capitol or uc davis medical center land park is definitely one of those top spots now as far as price point probably comparable to east sacramento like i said maybe 850 to 9 gets you a three and two above a million dollars everything else unless of course it's a fixer that's land park for you and that's number two my team and I created this relocation guide. It is the end all and be all. This is guys, this is over 10 years worth of things that you need to know if you're moving to Sacramento, California. And we created it just for you, absolutely free. Click on the link below. Guys, this is gonna save you hours and hours of time from moving from point A to point B, which is Sacramento and it's free. Click the link below, guys. It's worth it. Okay, number three is Curtis Park. Located between the 99 Freeway and Freeport Boulevard, we're talking about 2,600 homes. Cute, cute area, walkable. Kind of still has that feeling of Land Park, but it's really, really cute. I was gonna either put Tahoe Park there or Curtis Park there. And the reason why I chose Curtis Park is because there's actually a new community over there, Black Pines Community, that has brand new homes. So they're actually adding to the inventory in Curtis Park, which is really, really nice. Crocker Village, some people might say it's not Curtis Park but it kind of is. Curse Park's really, really nice. If you're looking for foodie stuff, if you're looking for walkability, 
driving your bike and you don't want to pay those land park or east sacramento house prices curtis park is great for you curtis park is focused on bungalows a little bit smaller houses than land park in east sacramento so if you're someone who's maybe just starting off at uc davis medical center if you're just a couple curtis park is pretty cool walkability coffee houses breweries curtis park really does have it all it also has curtis park get it a park by its own name really fun walkable area and if you're looking in like land park if you're looking at east sacramento and you're maybe just not ready for that 3,000 square foot house and you want something a little more quaint cute curse park could be that spot for you i really love curse park and a lot of times that tends to be the starter home for a lot of people who are specifically looking to bite me bump into land park or east sacramento later on okay number four is sierra Oaks. Now here's a little background for Sierra Oaks, like back in the good old battle days where people were living in East Sacramento and they wanted a little bit something bigger. They wanted to go into the suburban life. Sierra Oaks is where they're looking. So Sierra Oaks is kind of like for people who are living in East Sacramento but wanted the suburban vibe. I mean, honestly, Sierra Oaks was kind of like the outskirts of Sacramento back in the day. A lot of the homes there were built in the 50s, really kind of cool. A little bit more land you're gonna see, some ranch style homes, mid-century modern. Sierra Oaks is really, really nice. I have seen some crazy monster estates there. There's also a patch of Sierra Oaks that runs along the American River. Really, really nice homes. Sierra Oaks is a great spot. If you're someone who's saying to yourself, you know what, I'm gonna work downtown, but I really do want a little bit bigger house. I really want a little bit more spread out some land. I want a little separation between church and state. I want something like that. Sierra Oaks is a fantastic spot to live in. Homes there, I mean, if you're looking for a small little rancher home, you can probably still get something for about 750, 850, but you can also go to a million, two million, three million and get a nice, big chunk of land, like the Pertolucci estate, which Chris Ballesteri, a good friend of mine, is listing. You can get some really nice estates there. And like I said, guys, the history of Sierra Oaks was when people were living in East Sacramento and they wanted a little bit more, they wanted to go to the outskirts of Sacramento. And in the 50s, that was Sierra Oaks. Sierra Oaks is absolutely beautiful. Love that area. And I think that as far as getting in there, it you're going to see a little bit more inventory than maybe like a land park, but probably neck and neck with East Sacramento. Sierra Oaks is pretty awesome. And like I said, you're going to see a lot of single story homes, a lot of estate homes, and a lot of like old, old, old houses there, probably built from the 50s. Number five is Arden Park. Okay, so Arden Park is located between Watt, Arden, and Fair Oaks Boulevard. It's about 1,900 homes. It's not on the river but it's close by the river and there are walking trails to get you there. We've actually moved three people into Arden and they absolutely love it. Arden used to be the center of shopping back in the day with the Arden Mall before Roseville developed a very, very strong shopping center. Now, Arden still has got some great stores like Best Buy and there's still a lot of shopping. In fact, if you live downtown, you're probably gonna go to the Arden Mall to do a lot of your shopping. That's where they got it. And it's really, really nice and they have some great stores like Best Buy, Cheesecake Factory and everything too. It's a nice mall. So here's the thing, guys, about Arden. Arden is a little bit, it's gonna give you that kind of Sierra Oaks kind of vibe. There are a lot of single story houses, a little bit more land. That's where people went, like I said, back in the day, if they had something in East Sacramento and they were looking for a little suburban vibe, they wanted a little bit more land, Arden Park is where they went. Gorgeous houses, estate homes. You're gonna see a lot more land over there, a lot of single story homes, and it's really, really nice. Price point, you probably get something there for about 850 a fixer, but you're looking, if if you're looking at some of those estates, you're looking for over a million dollars. Arden is a fantastic area. It has been around for a long, long time, since the 50s. So you can see a lot of, like I said, single story ranch style homes, estate homes. Arden is fantastic. So if you're looking for something and maybe East Sacramento isn't your jam and you don't want to be that close to downtown, guys, Arden is a great spot. Beautiful, 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 and super close to the river, walkable for sure. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video on five top spots to live in the Sacramento area. Like I said, guys, all these spots have their pros and cons, but a lot more pros and cons. These are five amazing spots to live in. Like I said, my team, we get calls about these spots almost on a daily basis. I've lived here for over 10 years. I'm one of the top realtors in the area. Would love to work with you or answer any questions you might have about these areas. And by the way, we have a relocation guide down in the link. Click on it. It'll help you out if you're looking to move in the area and it'll save you hours and hours of time.